A security guard accused of murdering a man at a shopping center. He is now behind bars. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Ross Dimite. And I'm Jackie Kostek. These candles are now in place at the scene of the crime. Workers who watched the victim lay in front of their businesses have set up a memorial in his honor. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey is near North Decatur in 215 with their call for support. Several people working here at the Shadow Mountain Marketplace say that they've seen this victim around several times. They say that he's homeless and that they didn't know if he had any friends or family, so they built this small memorial at the spot where he died, each candle representing a tragic hour that he lay here before anyone realized he'd been shot several times. Seven flaring candles. He died alone here. A small bundle of flowers. Somebody cared. Somebody came. Marking the spot where a man lay for hours after being shot in the chest several times. It's numbing. Set by two massage envy workers who saw his body and watched as police collected evidence that would hopefully lead them to a shooter. Hours and hours out here was just by himself. It was it was hard. I feel like it's at least something. It's at least the least we can do for him. Nicole Melton says the seven candles represent the seven hours between when police say the shooting happened at 1245 a.m. and the time a worker checked the man and called police at eight. Her co-worker Isabella Serio is inviting anyone who knew the man to add to the memorial. Nobody should have to die alone and then not be found for several hours later, especially in public. Police arrested Brian Love, an armed security guard assigned to patrol the property in connection with the shooting. He's been charged with open murder, another blow for the workers who had seen him patrolling the lot. To know that it's somebody who's supposed to be protecting you patrolling around here. We've seen this guy driving around before. It's just surprising. Love was taken into custody at his apartment hours after the body was found, hours after the shooting, leaving Serio to wonder why. This should have never happened to him under these, the way that this happened. And I'm sorry for whoever is out there that knows him. It's tragic. Love is being held without bond at the Clark County Detention Center. His next court appearance is July 2nd. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.